after the UML diagram has been decided, we're going to just create the Java code to represent the object on the UML diagram. This is a class object. We're going to write private, right? Minus is private. And type long. <coughs> uh, that's supposed to be a lowercase, right? For the data type. Okay. <coughs> now, when you name your attributes, you're not supposed to use uppercase. For the one who did the registration, make sure you don't use uppercase. <coughs> Long and then the name, account number. <coughs> and then private string account name, right? <coughs> and what else? Big, that's small. It's also private, right? Balance. Lowercase d, right? <coughs> Over to our fee. Let's think about this a little bit. Now, dig decimal we need to import, right? Because it's a class or map package. <coughs> now, over to our fee, should it belong to bank account? I mean, if it belongs to this, that means all of this has overdraft fee in common, credit card, loan, checking, and saving. Do they all have overdraft fee? Then it should not belong to this, right? Where should it belong to them? Checking. Does saving has that too? If checking and saving has that, you may want to create another <laughs> levels here, right? Like, could be bank account or something. Alright, so this is just to show when. Come back to this. <coughs> or you can just, we can talk about interface next time. Okay, that can help too. Now come back to <coughs> pin. Yeah, all of the everybody can have pin, right? <coughs> so I'm going to create pin. Late payment fees. Let's talk about just late payment fees. Yeah, credit card can have PIN if you go to the ATM and you want to withdraw something. Saving. We we can make a PIN start using both, right? When you do it, go to ATM. That's why I think it's better to have another level here, right? <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so registration fee. Okay, we can have it there, right? Number of accounts. Okay, study. that's good. Now I'm going to construct the Eclipse. <coughs> Pin number, private, <coughs> int, pin number, when we talk about money, what is the data type that like we like to use? <coughs> mm 
Mm -hmm. So I change that. So make sure you fix that on the methods here too. Okay. Remove things that we don't need. I don't want to fix this one. <coughs> and update the information correctly. Big, there's small. Registration <coughs> number of accounts. We can make it as constant too if we want. Is it? No. It's always changed so it should not be constant. So statics, right? <coughs> In Good. So <coughs> we have the UML. We convert that into Java code. <coughs> now we need to <coughs> create constructors. Correct. According to pretty much according to your methods here, we're going to define everything in here, right? So <coughs> I'm going to just create some constructors. You can type or you can use the source code generators to create the constructors using fields. <coughs> so we just wrote it. We just save some time and use that, right? Or you can type thus the constructor passing all the parameters, right? And <coughs> this refers to the attributes of your class. And this account number refers to the parameters. When you initialize, you pass the value at the constructor points. It's pretty much just pass that to set the values to the attributes, right? <coughs> Super refers to the parents, called parents constructors. <coughs> like now it's going to call an object. Object is a parent for all Java classes. Okay. Why like if you talk about credit card, if you do credit card constructor with no parameters, then at this point when I cr create a Java code, it's going to have super inside like here also if I create bank account constructor I am going to call super inside why to initialize the constructor of my parents account so that means <coughs> when I call super where I do credit card look at the one with the parameters So, for example, I have only one attribute, right? <coughs> now, when I create a constructor for a credit card, I have to provide the parameters, which is what? I just need remember we have an access to the attributes of this right that means this actually down here too right you need to initialize that too correct everything here do we have a complete constructor already with all the attributes 
not yet. We have add, we added more attributes. Let me finish that. Comma. Rate. <coughs> Double. Comma. Pin number. And comma. Registration fee. Big. Decimal. Comma. Now for the number of accounts is statics. We don't need to do that. We need like initializations. Now we come down to <coughs> here. Then I should add and then comma. Okay, so here's another constructor, right? Create code with that. That makes sense. Now, when you come to come back to bank account, okay, we have this constructor, right? Right here, right? And we call super. Same, if I want, let's look at how to create a credit card. Uh, let me finish this then with the methods. Let's go to source, generate get and setters, select all. So I just create set and getters for each attributes. And to string, go to source, generate to string with other fields. All right, so I have everything, okay? So this is according to what we have designed to have here, right? The string should go to the bottom normally. At the end. All right, so we have the bank account class created. You see the get number of account has to be statics too. We talk about the methods, right? <coughs> now, let's look at credit card. If I want to do inheritance class credit card. In super class, super class of credit card is going to be what? Bank account, right? Correct. So it's add the keyword extends. Like I say extends, right? You can also type extends. So that means credit card has all the attributes and the methods from bank account. That's how you do inheritance. So we just try to translate this UML to Java code with this line, right? This line in extends, right? Okay, now uh, yeah, I think we don't want to have it look like that. Can you link loan again? I just wanted to link to this, then it doesn't look like overlapping. Now come back to credit card. <coughs> then we can add the fields again, which is private, right? Num minus is private. Double late payment fee. And you can have more. Now we only have